शॉर्टेज ऑफ वॉटर बिकॉज देर आर सो मेनी प्रॉब्लम आर दे वी कैन टेक केयर अबाउट दैट बिकॉज वेन रेन फ्लो वी कैन गेट इट इन सम लेक्स देन लाइक दैट वी कैन स्टोर वी कैन स्टोर दट वॉटर I am Jitendra Singh, banker turned entrepreneur, author of the book Pepek, Mastering the Art of Selling. I welcome you to read my story where I interview authors, speakers, coaches, celebrities, entrepreneurs, and more. Today I have with me Mr. Bata Ali Morappa Todia. He has been working as a social activist for more than 32 years and running an NGO, Mamata Makala Mandira, and has 12A ATG FCRA certifications. And he is also approved by Niti Aayog RRG. and uh, he has been working in for the upliftment of poor and needy people and has successfully executed more than 70 plus projects which includes projects of government of india and government of karnataka they are working with farmers for agriculture sustainable agriculture warmi culture and rural sanitization programs watershed management women empowerment they have formed more than 1200 plus self help group also and uh, been uh, working on various other programs for minority women leadership program skill development program for uh, people in the rural areas and he has been doing all these uh, activities under this csr initiative so today he will be sharing with us about his life journey so welcome sir you are uh, welcome on our platform so you are here to share your journey with us sir uh, already i sent uh, to you uh, then uh, you are also express me now uh, last uh, before corona we are done a project uh, that is a uh, uh, department of science and technology it is a rural development sc development program we are done in uh, our near bangalore there is on ramnagar district uh, the village uh, from uh, bomachinalli and bevinamarada doddi we are taken 120 beneficiaries from sc family they are very poor and uh, poor farmers uh, so they don't know about uh, uh, anything about uh, business or something so uh, we are uh, done that uh, area uh, some uh, use for skills uh, that is uh, driving a beautician tailoring computer uh, like this we are given the youths uh, then we are uh, conducted on uh, agarbatti training with the machine so nearly one 40 to 45 uh, ladies are participate uh, in that uh, uh, program is successfully implemented right sir yeah yeah uh, i tell you one one, uh, one thing uh, in that uh, program uh, we are uh, given to the uh, farmers cow and uh, sheep uh, uh, rearing like that and uh, uh, kitchen garden uh, then uh, rural sanitation program also right. uh, then uh, sustainable agriculture uh, trainings uh, like this sir this is a three years program funded by the department of science and technology government of india sir. wonderful sir you have been uh, working so hard on all these projects and a really yeah. uh, wonderful thing so if i talk about you like how did your journey started like you would be having certain thoughts when you were a kid that you want to do this thing in your life how you got into yeah. this journey so what is the difference I mean uh, we are oh, first of all uh, i am a teacher so i opened a school up to 1 to 10th standard okay so it is now also running after 2013 i will retire from the teachers job okay i will continue this ngo work so we are done some projects and some services 
the just like now, now also we are going to take up a csr program that is uh, uh, we are expecting the uh, uh, fundings from sangamas international it is in chennai so they are uh, given so many projects mean rural development agriculture uh, then goshala uh, like this uh, in our uh, uh, next coming projects okay so when you were kid what you wanted to be yeah. in your life you wanted to be a teacher or something else yes after that uh, i am open a school For myself i am open a school uh, from uh, 1980 Right. So that now also it is running successfully, no problem. Wonderful. So, so you many... always you always thought to be a teacher, and then you started your school. That's wonderful. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Sir. Sir. yes sir. So if I talk about things you are doing and you are passionate about in your life, so what is the yeah. thing you are passionate about in your life? Passion, I be mean uh, first of all uh, social service. and uh, uh, we are uh, working with the down trodden peoples that is uh, we are thinking uh, uh, so many times sir uh, then uh, little bit happy hobbies not uh, so big office so like this sir we are doing service we are very happy so your entire focus is uh, for the help of poor people needy people yeah and you been yes working sir yes sir for 32 years consecutively so this is really wonderful and hats yes, off sir. to you so uh, sir if i talk about your work yeah. and experience like how you started your journey as an uh, social activist what all you did so far your journey uh, like social uh, sir, activist sir uh, when i was uh, start the school we are start the school in a slum area at that time one agency that is a christian agency they are given some uh, milk powder to uh, milk uh, drink to the uh, children so that we are uh, then again and again uh, five four years uh, they are given to the our school uh, so that after i think why we are uh, not to uh, open a ngo like that uh, then i do some survey uh, then uh, ask some our uh, some ngo uh, friends after that i will take uh, ngo registration uh, then i start my journey sir okay so uh, you mentioned that you have done so many projects so brief one about those projects also brief on projects what all you did number 1 uh, awareness generation program to the uh, ladies women so second one uh, uh, that is rural sanitation program then third one agarbatti do- doing program manufacturing uh, like this yes manufacturing program right then uh, uh, we are uh, take a project from uh, KUIDFC it is under the Karnataka government so 3 years we are done uh, in Ramnagar town uh, it's also um, very good projects uh, projects we are uh, there we are formed nearly 250 sgs then uh, we are uh, given last uh, lastly 5000 revaluing fund to the uh, sanghas then 150 sgs account number we are opened only in the canara bank at ramnagar so we are uh, done some activities to them after that give some health awareness uh, then uh, women uh, uh, empowerment uh, like this uh, uh, three years we are uh, done so they are this type of programs then after that we are taken a sustainable agriculture vermiculture uh, we are done uh, 101 farmers in the near, near bangalore that is uh, nelamangala there is a village bettanagere so uh, we are uh, trained farmers how to prepare the vermicompost uh, then how to use uh, to our lands like that second one uh, same also we done uh, 50 farmers in uh, ramnagar district uh, so after that uh, Uh, we are uh, taken a uh, sustainable agriculture project uh, in uh, mysore uh, district uh, horticulture sustainable horticulture project we are done uh, it is successfully two years uh, that is one is one talok uh, nanjanagodu and one hobli kasaba hobli then uh, uh, some uh, 150 farmers are successfully they are uh, uh, taken this uh, program sir uh, so like this our journey uh, what i say that uh, this uh, uh, sc village development program uh, then uh, we are done 
uh, some projects uh, from kapart uh, that is watershed and uh, like this sir so we are not uh, going uh, a single uh, department or project we are done some projects some departments right and you then, uh, uh, mentioned about self help group also so how yeah, yeah. self help group work self help groups uh, i'm formed uh, from the with the support of first time uh, the mairada which is the uh, lead ngo in our uh, karnataka uh, so uh, in bangalore uh, so many slums we are formed uh, so many nearly 1200 and groups for our mairada support uh, after that uh, i am there is 30 partners in that mairada group uh, and the highest mamata makkala mandira is the highest uh, groups we are formed and uh, give it to the mairada they are given on in 2006 i think they are uh, given a computer set to uh, as uh, award right so, so like this now they are continue with the program some are are very good uh, their uh, lifestyle now uh, then they are uh, take some igp activities income generation activities uh, like this in now we are also doing some uh, microfinance like that uh, then uh, uh, they have in our future ideas right wonderful sir so uh, if yeah. i talk about your uh, vision mission goal for next 5 to 10 years from now like what you want to de- do in these 5 to 10 years like next projects sir next projects also we are working uh, i like to work with uh, farmers then uh, poor people then uh, youth uh, development then uh, sc development program st development program there are uh, so many scheduled tribes uh, people uh, in karnataka uh, in the uh, now they are also in the forests uh, so uh, we will serve to them it is my ambition sir right so that is really uh, wonderful sir you are working on so many projects and you want to work uh, these type of projects more yes, sir. Uh, with, yes, yeah you you are working on these projects and you want to execute more such projects for rural people yeah. who, who need actually uh, support from uh, uh, others outside that will help them to uh, get their livelihood and uh, their condition better betterment in in future so that will help yes sir so if i talk exactly about sir. in this journey you would have learned yeah. things. what are those few things you have learned from this journey like throughout uh, 32 years what you have learned i think i learn so many points we are uh, exactly uh, working uh, with that uh, poor people then we are given very good education to their uh, children uh, give very good food to the them uh, then uh, uh, their uh, what is the lifestyle is uh, improvement uh, like this one uh, one thing sir uh, then after that uh, we are improved the village farmers because farmers is most important uh, in this uh, uh, time and future also they are given the food grains to all so Correct. after that they they need water so we can uh, support to them to the water watershed management uh, like that right this is really important because uh, without food we can't survive and without water yeah. we cannot have food and also we cannot survive without food and water both so very yes, important for all of us to understand this we need to support our farmers as well as we need to work for uh, water conservation maybe uh, securing our water resources this is yes, very sir. important sir uh, you have worked on water conservation so just yeah. we know from you why water conservation is so important in india and how we can do it sir it is a uh, necessary for every thing every man so whether it is agriculture or drinking water or uh, companies factories like that so uh, now there is a rain flow when rain flow is come at that time we are uh, take care about that how can we procure the water and uh, drinking water uh, like this it is too necessary there yes and we see uh, the water for agriculture is getting short yeah so why is uh, this problem arising shortage of water uh, because there are so many uh, problems are there we can take care about that 
because uh, when uh, rain flow we can get it in uh, some uh, lakes uh, then uh, like that we can store we can store that water after we can uh, use right and also the ground level water is getting uh, low the level of yeah. water is getting low because uh, we are using that water for agriculture purpose and we are not yeah. having proper uh, rain water harvesting due to which what yes, yes. what is happening is whatever rain is coming that water is flowing to uh, the rivers and all and goes to the ocean that does not stop on the land so yes sir that, that is why problem is uh, occurring yeah you, you working with uh, so many water con- conservation projects so how you are doing water conservation what all methods you use sir we are a little little uh, uh, projects uh, we are done we are done uh, number one is uh, the uh, desilting of tanks so uh, three four tanks uh, we are desilting about uh, four five years back so after that uh, we are uh, make some uh, uh, little little watershed not what in watershed there is a small uh, what we called it halla small halla it's uh, going to water is uh, flowing in the that uh, place upon like that okay Can we so making uh, uh, these store. ponds in villages Yes. Okay. Uh, so you are uh, working on uh, like creating uh, resources for making small ponds where water can store and rain yes, harvesting is also thing you are doing and uh, yeah yeah it is better rain water harvesting is better to uh, to house house use also then uh, agriculture also right 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 and you are also creating uh, water sheds so uh, to store water yeah great and is that uh, like uh, making these water sheds or rain water harvesting that costly that people are not affording it or not able to make it in villages uh, sir uh, what that is a uh, no not concept in every village sir we are uh, take that concept to the villagers then we take the watershed uh, uh, like that okay in our government uh, they are not doing uh, like that okay so awareness is the problem yes 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 awareness and uh, give some uh, funds to the making that uh, water uh, we can store it okay water storage so how much yes. money require for one uh, small water storage sir water storage mean exactly i am not uh, done the like that single uh, so we can uh, k- k- take a estimates uh, like that sir okay so uh, on to it further like uh, awareness problem you have uh, just mentioned how we can create this awareness uh, about water conservation sir uh, we are the ngos uh, uh, we are uh, going to the villages every village we can uh, visit and uh, give them awareness how can we uh, store it the uh, water and uh, how can we use the water uh, like that we can we are we must uh, give that uh, awareness and government is having some programs for that government program is uh, nowadays it's not successful sir right so initiative issue from government or uh, like people are not getting initiatives like not getting interest yes yes yes, yes. they are not given to farmers or uh, beneficiaries okay so there is a gap yeah. between the government policy which they create they are not able yes. to reach to the end user farmers basically yes sir exactly so their ngos uh, come in in existence and they work with people uh, at this yeah level. yes yes sir but are ngos getting support from government that is also a big question uh, somebody doing that sir no problem somebody right. they are making uh, not uh, making the that type of work not for uh, service right they are also adjustable to the officers huh. we are not like that we are not done anywhere like that okay and okay give on some service to them right so uh, if i talk about you uh, like when you meet people what is your nature like yeah. are you introvert or are you extrovert when you meet these people we are like introvert we are asking some questions to them then they are say, uh, say what they are uh, problems no no i am talking about you what you feel like you you are open to these discussions easily or you restrict yourself no sir first of all uh, we organize a team then we are given the awareness to them 
first we are tell them to uh, organize uh, then come to a group like that one village one side or two two groups we are uh, make the first afterwards we will uh, uh, we'll give on the awareness to them okay so uh, who all support you in your uh, projects what kind of support you get from people sir uh, today uh, this what i tell you they are all support some uh, projects so in future uh, i will plan it and uh, you can uh, uh, support me how can we go and uh, done this projects so uh, like currently you have done so many projects who were the people yeah. supported you the most who did supported you most most mean uh, rural development then uh, agriculture like that uh, departments uh, support sir dst uh, department of science and technology then uh, this uh, minority affairs government of india uh, then uh, uh, this uh, medicinal plants ayush like that uh, some they are support are uh, like this sir great sir great so you have getting all the support from government institutions and uh, yeah csr right. csr all, csr csr so that yeah. is really wonderful so uh, yeah. how you get your motivation and inspiration yeah what <laughs> is behind your motivation and inspiration yes sir now i am the age of 70 years right uh, i motivate me in sir uh, what we are uh, saying in the villagers and uh, uh, urban area uh, so then we think we can solve this problem uh, which uh, uh, department or which agency give the fund like that then we are uh, uh, submitted the proposal and get some uh, fund uh, them and uh, we will uh, do this uh, implement this uh, work sir right sir the thing uh, i am asking you is like what thing motivate you support like that ways your yeah. inner yeah, yeah, yeah. how you get yes, that energy yes, how you get that strength energy your means strength. Uh, we are uh, thinking always uh, like that sir now also done uh, doing some projects i think so you are you are always motivated that is the inspiration uh, inspiration uh, mean the our uh, society right we must uh, help the society correct so you you get your inspiration and motivation from the society from the people around yes, sir. and you yes, you sir, try yes, to sir. help them the best possible way that is how you yeah. get your energy energy mean it's automatically coming energy right so uh, what do you think uh, about all these things about the success you achieved sir uh, we are uh, success uh, i think no problem we are in uh, success over all projects we are uh, what we are done successfully we are implemented no problem right there is uh, no remark about the government or csr like that we are take fund and uh, successfully implemented then give it to report right so uh, you are very much focused on process that how you execute things in a proper way so every yeah. project you have done done with all dedication and made it to a success yes sir great sir wonderful so uh, thank you thank you sir if i ask you, you for your advice and guidance two things you would like to guide or advise people what would yeah. that be you have to share two things yeah. to to guide people yes sir yes sir definitely i'm also uh, i have land also i'm also coming from a village so that we are very very easy to uh, link with the farmers and uh, our environmental uh, projects like that so sir if you have to teach me two things yes sir what would that be you have to teach me two things now any two things mean we must uh, support our uh, society sir yes society and peoples that's uh, one very important uh, point in these circumstances there are so many down trodden people sir there right yeah one more one more thing one more thing uh, we must educate the peoples and uh, we must uh, awareness uh, to uh, give uh, education to their uh, children correct this is really wonderful thing you have shared like first yes, is uh, we need to educate people about what is the uh, issues around related to water and everything environment basically yeah. and we also yes, need to teach them how to improve that and how yeah. to earn their livelihood like making themselves sufficient yes sir 
really important uh, these things are so on this note i must say we have uh, discussed so many things you have shared and it was amazing hearing you thank you so very much sir for your time uh, sharing us uh, thank you thank advice. you and you have thank you sir. wonderful in those 32 years heads off to you okay sir thank you please uh, send me your uh, address in uh, delhi sir i will uh, uh wish to meet you once sure whenever you are coming next to delhi just uh, give me a uh, text me message me i'll come to see you yeah. okay i think i will plan to come uh, 15 16th of uh, february right right sir yeah. we will meet over a coffee and uh, okay thank you, okay thank you very much sir for your time and uh, your uh, uh, motivational energy and i am looking forward to hear from you soon again i will share your social media link so that people can be in touch with you take your help and guidance okay. wherever possible okay okay sir so uh, guys don't forget to check that out too thank you so very much for watching and listening and i hope you all must have gathered a lot of information and enjoyed watching it don't forget to like share subscribe have a good time thank you and bye bye thank you thank you